Hey everyone! Hello! Today, Brandon, uh -oh. where are we at and what is it about to start doing? <laughs> it's already raining, but we are in Juneau, Alaska. We have docked and what you will be seeing coming up that we have already done is the sled dog tour, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for yep. the most amazing doggos. Yeah. Incredible. And it is a classic, what we expected Alaska Day to be, where it's yep. kind of raining, it's not super strong, it's kind of light rain and overcast and a little chilly yep but we are very excited for sled dogs and all the other fun stuff for yeah, today so awesome. keep watching keep watching so let's talk excursion details this excursion had a check-in time of 8 15 a.m this gave us a little bit of time for breakfast and we actually opted to order gluten-free pastries coffee tea and some juice in our stateroom which worked really well for us Main dining didn't open until 8 a.m. on our sailing for this day in Juneau, but Cabana's was open earlier, so that might actually be another breakfast option for you too. Our check-in was in Azur, and we found out when we checked in that we had a really small group for this excursion. There were actually only four of us going to the sled dog and mushers camp. This made for a great excursion experience because we got a ton of time to talk with all of the mushing team and of course meet all of the amazing dogs. Once our group had arrived in Azur, we were escorted off the ship and we boarded a bus. Our driver Dylan gave us a lot of information about Juno and the sled dogs and mushers camp along the way. It was a 30 minute drive to Douglas Island where the camp was located. So it is a little bit of a drive, but it was great because we got to see a lot of Juno. And we also even got to make a small stop quickly to view Mendenhall Glacier from a distance, which was really neat to see. And then it was off to see the sled dogs. On our excursion, we got off the bus and we were immediately taken to one of the sled dog carts where we got to go on a one mile track throughout the camp. Our musher hunter was so informative and engaging along the way. Here are some highlights from that experience. So now you can hear me a little bit better. My name is Hunter Keith. I'm your musher today. So we do give the dogs lots of breaks during the summertime here. Their favorite temperature is about 10 below to 10 yeah. above. So we keep the run short, oh. we give them breaks to cool off. And then of course every time we come in, they got fresh pools of water waiting for them. Yeah. John though, he's letting us he's know like, he's I'm already ready. ready to go. <laughs> the beetles are known for their incredibly fast recovery time and always being <laughs> Ready to go, always being loud. During that dinner really? run, I had all four on my team, and I was known for having the loudest dog team. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right, let's go. Ready? All right. Here they go. my one person on our way on our parking spot. You guys can feel free to pet these two. Hey. <laughs> Both sweet boys. Hey. Yukon is splitting his brother. He's just as sweet as his brother. He's really friendly. He's running with his uncle today. His uncle's name is Mustang. No. Both of them are really good to Hi. pet. <laughs> Hello. Thank you so much today. Hi. So this handsome guy is Chocolate Chip. <laughs> Chocolate Chip. He's the tallest and biggest of his litter. He's so tall, in fact, bones? that he can jump over just about any dog. Hi. And that's what I learned earlier in the summer here, bones. is that all day long he likes to switch sides and jump over hi. his partner. And sometimes so his partners good. get tired about so the 50th good. time he steps on hi. Oh, hi! 
So Chocolate Chip Hello. does it by himself. He does really well by himself. Yeah, he's super focused. Yeah, thank you. And he's big enough. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's a really big Chocolate guy. Chip. He's out of my main lead dog, Lick. And his mom's name is Cookie. Thought <laughs> this Chocolate Chip. <gasps> chocolate he's Chip. So Hi, baby. So this is Seymour. He's our shire one. He's running with Junior Hi, today. Hi, sweet dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah good dog. Oh. He's a really good Hi. Junior's one of my more honest working dogs. He's always got to flip the bowl and jump into it to cool off. <laughs> Hello. Oh, John. Big burp. <laughs> this is John. Hello. These are the Beatles, John and Ringo. So John has the darker mask and Ringo, Ringo has the lighter face. Nikki here. She's the first wing. Cubone and Slim don't want to wait their turns today. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She is beautiful. <laughs> and Cubone and Slim don't want to wait their turns. They're both really lovable dogs here. Cubone especially has got a... He thinks he's the star of the show every time. Are you the star of the show? Hello, yep, yep. I'm going to come this way and not cram people into the dog team. Come here, guys. Here we go, all around anybody who wants to give them love. <laughs> After a cart ride and meeting all of the amazing dogs, it was time for the next part of this excursion, which included exploration time on a short suspension bridge. Okay, so we're gonna have so much to say. This has been amazing. Sarah's over there. We just got done with the dog sled ride absolutely incredible i can't wait till it see what sarah has to say about it i had to run to the uh, restroom which is literally an outhouse with the little moon carved in it um so very cool but uh we're coming up on sarah now and uh i just this has been incredible and uh let's see what she has to say here in just a few minutes we'll get a little presentation all right so sarah i was telling everyone that we just got done and we're going down steps everyone oh, yeah. we're in the Hi. we're in we're on indoor um we does everyone there. remember return of the jetta so, oh. no. So, Sarah, what did you think of the dogs? I loved it. Yep. I am super excited we're going because up. we are going up. The um, hunter who led the, those are actually, half of those are his dogs. Yep. And he just did the Iditarod this last year and, like, clearly loves his doggos. We were talking yep. to Dylan in the car and he was telling us, like, all these are on his crew. Oh, we are. Uh oh, we might be bouncing. Now, speaking I of the. Feel like uh, does everyone remember the Temple of Doom? Indeed, don't do <laughs> Also, um, did anyone in the 80s play the board game Mushing the Iditarod Trail? Oh, I remember that. Actually. Do you remember that? Yeah. So, do you remember something I, my what? reference? No, so Mushing the Iditarod Trail was a board game he's playing in the 80s. So this has been amazing um, so far. I mean, it's going to get more amazing. Everyone's super friendly, and yep. these are... A lot of the people here, these are their, and actually there's some, did you say there's Twitter famous dogs? There's, tw uh, yeah, uh. There's a whole group, I'm going to look them up. We'll post the link yeah, or whatever. Yeah, like, we have the social media dogs this year. Yeah, so this is very cool. We're hoping you can hear us. We might put our mics on and try that in just a few minutes. So, yeah. This has been awesome. We also learned a lot of additional information about sled dogs, mushing life, and the history of the Iditarod, which was really informative too. Um, right around the 1900s, we had trains come in and planes start arriving. And then dogs were used for more commercial uses. Uh, a lot of places trains couldn't get, dogs could, so they would uh, 
take uh, the lo uh, cargo off the train, put it onto a dog sled, and then the dog team would take it to uh, its final destination. Taken every other year. So on even years, they're going to take this northern okay. route. On odd years, they're going to take the, the southern route. And the reason they do that is because a lot of these villages throughout the area are going to be pretty small. The biggest is going to be right around 500 pounds, which is going to weigh about 150 to 160 pounds fully loaded with equipment. Okay. Then you're going to have a musher on there making it maybe a total of 300, 350 pounds. Um, so as you can tell, we had, I believe, 15 dogs on your team, and it was pulling a lot more weight than this 300 pounds. The last part of our excursion included seeing some sled dog puppies. Now, because we were at the camp early in the Alaska cruise season, the puppies were quite small. We spent just a short amount of time with the puppies and their mom, Chief. But if you do cruise a little bit later in the season, even just a few weeks into the cruising season, you're sure to see a lot of bigger puppies who are starting to get their training already for becoming a sled dog. Were the puppies cute? So cute. <laughs> they were adorable. I'm gonna be honest, the puppies were adorable, but the big doggos were the best. Yeah, like, I just true. want to take one. Yeah. I want to take the one that just hung out with me for a while. Yeah, it was awesome. It was so good. <laughs> It may be hard to see, but everyone, this is one of the two outhouse bathrooms in case you want to know when you get here. It is a little dark. I apologize, but they do have everything you may need to clean. It is open to the outdoors. And let me try to turn around. I don't even know if Sarah will leave this in. And yeah. Old school. All right, so it might be a little loud, um, but Sarah wants a dog so badly now. We have two cats, as you know, but Sarah, are you in a state of grace? I want a dog so bad. I've yeah. been wanting a dog, but I was like, I want a dog. Um, leave a comment. Should we get a dog? Leave a comment. Maybe we will. But uh, we have right now we want a big dog. Oh. Yep. And going to Juno. Yep. Into Juno we go, and our butt should be right there. At the end of the excursion, you're picked back up by one of the bus drivers, and you have the option to be dropped off into Juno for exploration, which we did, or back to the Disney Wonder. Overall, we absolutely loved this excursion, and we highly recommend it, especially if you are a dog lover. If you have any questions about the excursion at all, be sure to let us know in the comments. And of course, stay tuned to our channel for all of our Alaska cruise vlogs and other excursion videos from this trip.